I'm here in Edmonton to help my cousin decorate her living room. Hi. Hi, Maria. <laughs> Hi, Maria. How are you? How nice to see you. So this is my cousin, Leah, and this is her husband, Roger, and they just moved to Edmonton from British Columbia in January. Yeah, and we're here to do some uh, decorating and styling. Come on in. Let's get started. Yay. Yay. So... I'm here this week with my director of e-design, Trisha Fermania, who happens to live at Edmonton as well. So fun that Maria's been here decorating all over town. We've just been having a blast rating all the home senses and being decorating fairies. Yes. Yeah, so fun. So I could immediately see when she sent me photos back in January after they bought new furniture that this layout needed some work, but I didn't know what the rest of it looked like. So I thought, I'll wait till I get here. And then we were looking at the photos and before we even arrived, we realized that, you know, the first thing this place needed was drapes. She's got a series of narrow, tall windows all the way down the room that were just, they were just not looking right. We've rearranged the furniture and we want to hang up some curtains. So now, in order to make these windows look twice as big as they are right now, we need to make sure the curtain rod is at least 15 inches past on each side. These are Ikea curtains. We found some in a color that relates to her um, pillows and the rug, which is super fun. And now we just need to find some curtain rods, but you can get a sense of what it's going to look like. Pretty fun. We, we got drapes before we even arrived on scene. That's right. We stopped at Ikea on the way. On the way. We picked them up. It <laughs> Based was a great photos emergency. because we know how to read color online. Yeah. Oh yeah, we do that all day and all night. And we got the color right. We did. Yeah. That's what we do all day. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so I was waiting for Maria to get here to, to make it beautiful and, and flowy and nice. And We really needed some help. So we dropped off the curtains, picked up Leah, and went to HomeSense for a couple hours. When I was at HomeSense with Maria and Trisha, it was quite an experience. Um, just watching those two work together and how quickly they made all the decisions. Several carts kept filling up with stuff. Got everything we needed. That all we did. in one go. We got all in one go. And gave Roger orders to have those drapes up by tomorrow lunchtime. That's right. <laughs> Done a little rearrangement of furniture. We just want to talk about the fact that the new arrangement is so much better because look, we now have light coming through the window. arrangement is so much better because here's the other flaw with this design is that we've got this empty space here right this space that doesn't feel like it's a part of the living room we've got doorways everywhere and you know this is also a big walk through because of the kitchen so that's why she had some little throw rugs here so the thing that bothered me the most about this area was this super awkward space that's surrounded by doorways. You can't put any furniture here. You can't even extend the living room into this space. And then, then I remembered the decorator's dream, Trisha. Absolutely. Is to have a round table like the Four Seasons with some books, with some ottomans, with some flowers. Which are so comfortable, by the way. I can yeah. sit here all day. So we were leaving and I, in my mind, I'm like, we need a round table. We're almost out the door and I look down the stairs where I see a tablecloth covered drop leaf table. And I said, uh, can I see that table? <laughs> so about the table, I bought that table in 1988 for my first house as a dining room table. It was completely trashed. It would at one point sit in the garage with paint cans on it and it just looked awful. Brought it back together and fixed it up and stained it and sitting downstairs as Maria said and I just can't believe now that it's up here in this space. As so a centerpiece. Centerpiece. The doing, centerpiece. Doing what it was designed to do. So. Yummy. Stopped in Red Deer at the donut mill. We're already cutting them up and eating them.
rearranged the furniture and I sit here and I was able to look out that window and see out into the garden oh it's just so awesome not to have that furniture blocking that view I just just loved it I'm all for the outdoors and this house is set up for that nicely we can see all the trees around us and outdoors and what we were missing is having all of that flowing into this inner space and uh, now that the furniture has been set up correctly and it's all comfortable and we can just get the light through. We pull down a wall and it's just come together phenomenally well. I'm so pleased. And, and the, the window that's up high, it was always just kind of floating in space. It always bothered me that it was so small, kind of up there. But now that Trisha hung that piece of art, oh, she's just so amazing at hanging pictures. So anyway, I can even, when I stand in the kitchen, I can look out this way and now, instead of the window floating out in space, there's the window, there's a piece of art. It's almost like another window I'm looking through. And it just, it just all came together so nicely. Like it just, it's just a beautiful thing to now look at instead of this thing that bugs me all the time. It's nice to have a designer in the family. <laughs> So while I was working on this color rescue, I was sharing sneak peeks on my Instagram stories. And what struck me is how many people said, oh my gosh, like, where'd you get those curtains? And here's the thing, it's not, that they were from Ikea, but you can find curtains from any big box store and make it look super custom just by hanging them correctly. I can't tell you how many times I have seen this. Most people make this mistake where they hang the rod directly over the windows. So then when you're stacking your curtains, when you open them, now you're making the windows look even smaller because you've got the curtains hanging directly over the window and also hanging them higher than your window makes a huge difference as well. Now, the reason why we were able to pull off this room in an afternoon was because we pulled it all together in the store. Get the rug, pull over the throw pillows, add some art. So we could see the room coming together because essentially what we were doing was creating a mood board directly in the store. So if you don't feel like you can whip that together in an afternoon, because let's be clear, I've been doing this a long time, you can do this with my shop online course. It will teach you exactly how to create a mood board. Hard to find the right pieces if you don't even know what it's called. I was sitting next to a client who I was looking for some blue throw pillows for her one day and Finally, she didn't like any of the blue throw pillows that I pulled up. So finally I looked over at her and she was wearing a cornflower blue sweater. And I put in cornflower blue throw pillows and suddenly she loved them all. So that's all part of it. So if you want to learn how to create a room that makes you happy every time you walk in the door, this is a great DIY course that every designer, every homeowner should have in their bag of tricks. So if you like this content, hit subscribe and also send me your color rescue images. Clean up the room, take some pictures and send them to me and your room might end up on a color rescue one day soon. See you next time.